everybody i've been delaying to make this video for a long time i wanted to make a big video and decided not to try and rewrite the whole bible and uh, not to create the wheel again since there's so much resources out there um, for those of you who know me well know that for me it is extremely important to know the truth i suppose that is true for most people um, but it's always been something that's really hard on my on my heart um, before i became an adventist it took me actually quite a few years to really accept the message and and fully accept it um, so i take my time evaluate what's available um, and don't just jump to conclusions even when i do eventually make the decision I still keep my mind open, um, I still want to have a, a learnable spirit, um, you know, to be able to, to know that I've been deceived so many times in my life that it's always possible that I could be deceived again. So to be careful of that is very important to me. Um, for me, the, the, the latest thing that has been troubling me a lot is the understanding of who God is and especially who Jesus is. I thought I knew and understood everything very well. Um, but as time passed, I realized there's a, quite a few things I don't understand. Um, and there's quite a few things I didn't realize about the history of our own church which has become very dear to my heart. Uh, this church has been the place I really met the Lord in a deep way. So the SDA church has a special place in my heart. Um, what, what made me wonder about this? Uh, I've been throughout my ministry, even in the SDA church, uh, I've been concerned with this. Even when we had times when we spoke about it in congregations, I made it clear what my position was. Um, and yes, it is concerning the whole issue of the Trinity and the understanding of how people understand it um, and uh, what maybe pushed me to make this decision is um, one of my big heroes in Adventism. Um, made a co comment that basically if you believe that Jesus Christ is the literal son of God then you should rather leave the STA church and uh, become a Jehovah's Witness and uh, I do deeply differ with the Jehovah's Witnesses um, people actually make this jump that the moment you believe that Jesus Christ is the literal son of God it automatically means that he must be a created being. Um, this is what was for me very concerning, that high profile people like that could make comments like that, uh, really cons is very concerning for me. My study with this became, came from when I studied the nature of Christ, which I realized was extremely important, the fact that Jesus Christ became human just as we are, with all the temptations we have and that's something that has crept into the Adventist church as well especially through people like uh, Desmond Ford but also previously the people like um, Froome um, and the whole issue about questions on doctrine which basically made Jesus a superman which is what the Roman Catholic Church also believes. Now why that became important to me is John had two distinctions on what is to be known um, the, the, the spirit of the Antichrist. The first one is basically if Jesus came in the flesh. If you don't, do not believe that Jesus came in the same flesh as what we have, then it's basically saying that you've got the Antichrist spirit. And if you want to say that we don't then well then we cannot even come close to try and typify the roman catholic church as being the antichrist power 
because um, they believe in the same as the SDA Church on, on, on Jesus not really coming in the flesh. Um, so yes, that would be a problem. The second one was always a problem for me in my ministry to really give a proper answer, and that is, if you reject the Father and the Son, then you also have the characteristics of the um, Antichrist spirit. And those are the only two characteristics that John gives. And that's the only two characteristics that you'll find on the Antichrist in the Bible. Um, so if you do not accept Jesus Christ as being the Son of God, in the literal sense, I believe, well, then there's a problem. And if you want to say, oh, but it, it's, it's figurative, it's, met, met, it's different, it's, you know, it's completely, it's not really like that, well, then you have a problem, because that is one of the things that the Bible asks. And um, I go back in history to, to areas, a lot of people have typified everybody, oh, you're an Aryan, or this or that. And uh, I've gone back to the history and realized but even Arius was completely misunderstood. Even Wikipedia, the worldly Wikipedia, makes it clear that Arius did not teach that Jesus Christ was a created being. That is from his works that actually the Jehovah's Witnesses decided, yeah, Jesus must be an angel, which the Bible doesn't teach, which Arius didn't teach. And there's something I think maybe 1% of Adventists know uh, if you would ask them the question, why were the three kingdoms destroyed that Daniel predicted? And they can't answer you. They, they would say, oh, maybe they were, they were just not accepting the Roman Catholic power. They were not accepting the papal power. They were destroyed because they were all followers of Arius. They believed Jesus Christ was the literal Son of God. So thousands upon thousands, maybe even millions of people were killed by the works that Constantine began at the Council of Nicaea. So that's a long history, a long story, but that's the short of it. Um, so this is my statement. I believe Jesus Christ is the literal Son of God, uh, and I have to confess it. This is my confession. This is what I will stand by. Um, and I'm open if people want to try and convince me otherwise that Jesus Christ is not the literal Son of God, that is only metaphorically a son of God or, or that the literal son of God means something else. That's some people try and say, oh yeah, they believe in the literal son of God, but not really. So yeah, that's a problem as well. For, for me, that's important. So I'm just going to say that and share this with you. I'll probably lose a lot of support, but that's fine. I'm used to that. Um, I hope I don't lose friends over this and people can accept this. I, remember, I don't judge people because God walks with everyone on their own. I'm in no way above anybody. Um, I've got so many faults I have to sort out. I have to get my life in order because Christ is coming back and we need to get that sorted out. Um, I'm in no way on a better pedestal of somebody that doesn't understand this correctly. So, yes. Thank you very much for listening.